Hello everyone, this is Ragnarok. Welcome to this new video about the four most useful add-ons in my opinion. They all major quality of life improvements and um, so let's start with the basic, right? Uh, if you really want to use add-ons in Elder Scrolls Online, I really recommend using the Minion app. It's uh, very good at uh, keeping your add-ons up to date and also explore new ones. So keep that in mind. You can find it at uh, minion.mmoui.com. I'll put a link in the description at the bottom. So let's get to it, shall we? So the first one is more a category than a specific add-on. It's basically add-ons that improve the information you get from the minimap or your main map. The biggest one to me are destination, sky shards, and also lore books. But I also use public dungeons and lost treasures. They're especially useful when starting the game so that you can gain more skill points faster and power level your character by not missing quest up and achievement location which unlock dice uh, you do lose the experience of exploring the world by yourself or with your friends there's that the second one is inventory grid view there's not much to say about it it does exactly what the name says it changes your inventory from a list based to a grid based inventory it works really well and it saves your scroll button and fingers which is a very good thing items rarity are displayed on each grid and you can switch between the original inventory and the grid view very easily by clicking a single button at the bottom the third one is master merchant it's probably my favorite add-on personally it helps you gain money faster by optimizing the prices you can expect to sell an item as long as you have an history of it it keeps in memory sell prices and displays it in an easy to understand manner using charts it keeps a record of all your sales for up to 30 days and who brought, who brought it other economy based add-ons seems to provoke game crashes and to me this did not happen so with this add-on so I think that's a really good thing it takes a lot of Lua memory to the point where you are actually going to run out of Lua memory and if you look at the lower left corner you can see a guide explaining how to get rid of that issue And the last one is a collection of add-ons made by Wicked over a year ago. And they're still some of the best on the market. I personally use the Quest Tracker and the Toolbar a lot more than anything else. Um, the Toolbar is extremely useful as it shows a lot of different and useful information. For example, uh, Feed Timer, Research Timer, Ancient Charges, The Time inventory space uh, charge our empty soul gems and finally the experience bar uh, the quest tracker allows you to switch market quest uh, by the simple click of a button which is very useful uh, I believe that Wicked no longer supports his add-ons so there may be a time where like his add-ons just stop working but right now they still work so I'm still going to use them so I guess that brings us to the conclusion. The game has been out for over a year now and I'm a bit disappointed that some of the add-ons released at launch are still the best around. I really wish people tried to make better add-ons uh, because there's always room for improvement. I think I'm going to make a video soon about how to improve the visual aspects of the game beyond what the game settings allow us to. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching. Like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you. Have a good one.